All right, today I admit it, I am being a bit selfish because I'm hanging with two cheerleaders from the Toronto Argonauts. We have Nicole and Carla, but it's for a good cause, right? Because they're here to help you with your relationship questions. Want to just get started? Let's we'll do it. We'll just jump right in. <laughs> okay, here's the first one. Uh, it says, so the guy I'm dating has a history of just up and leaving because he loses interest quickly. My girlfriends think I should bail before he has the chance, but I really think he's into me. How do I know if I'm just another one of his relationship victims? My advice to her would be not to jump the gun. If things are going good, why change it? You gotta be optimistic. I think the best advice for her is to, if she feels it and she feels like it's there, you never know if you could be the lucky one that changes his, you know, scared personality and maybe maybe you're the one. Honestly, that's what every guy's looking for. They are looking for the one. And to be honest with you, I don't know how old this guy is, but at some point you're kind of like, if I don't like this girl, I'm out. So be careful, but right now he's with you, so enjoy it, have fun with it. All right, next question says, the new guy I'm dating is a dancer and he's always surrounded by hot female dancers. I hate to admit it, but I'm getting a bit jealous. How do I get myself to snap out of this before I lose him? Okay, I've been dancing for years, so I mean, the guy dancers are rare. So of course, they're, they're gonna be surrounded by beautiful women. So it's not like having women around him all the time is something new. He's been dancing all his life, it's been happening for years. So the fact that he's picked her, I'm sure it's not easy, especially because if she has to watch them dance together and grind all up on each other. That can't be easy to watch. But at the end of the day, you know, if that's what he wanted, he wouldn't be with her. I would say approach him about it right away. And if it's a problem, she'll find out. If not, then she can stop worrying. And if she doesn't approach him, it might come out in other ways where she'll get snappy over things that probably have nothing really to do with it. That would make her seem just irritable in general when she really knows exactly what's bothering her. All right, this is the last question. It says, big problem. My boyfriend's mom talks smack about me. It's affecting our relationship and making me not want to be around him as much. What do I do? Mama issues. Ooh. She might have a mama's boy in her hands here. Maybe mama's just protecting her boy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. maybe it has nothing to do with something that she did. She's got to address the issue with her boyfriend. At the same time, it is his mother, so I feel like it's that tip It's very toe. touchy, very yeah. touchy subject. Yeah. When it comes to mama, she does really matter, and she's a very important woman in his life as well. So, I mean, if you kind of keep your ground and stay positive and be the best you, then I think that's the only thing you could really do. Carla, Nicole, thank you so much for doing this. Thanks for helping me answer some of these questions. And if you have any more questions, feel free to tweet us.